Okie dokie, I think you are live. All right, are we live? Um, all right, hang on one second. We're trying something different. Maybe. Hmm, hey everybody, give us a second. We are trying something a little different. We're working on two cameras going at the same time, so. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's not. Running a little bit behind, as usual. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Did you get it on there? Did you get that? Uh... Not exactly. Okay. It's not an exact science. No. All right. Doesn't matter. We're going to move forward without it. That's what I would say. All right. Well, tonight, thank you for joining us, first of all. And um, at the end of our little Facebook Live thing, we're going to announce a winner for a, a prize, for a product prize. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned till the end. And uh, also let us know you're watching, comment, um, and let us know. This way we can choose a winner for next week also. It's always getting it wrong. Well, tonight and Sunday. Always getting it wrong. Okay. I'm it's trying. It's just exhausting. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long day. But anyhow, tonight... Uh, I've got, we've got something special for you guys. We're going to talk about how to get shiny hair. Um, I know a lot of you out there are wondering, you know, why does my hair look so dull? Why does it look so frizzy? And, okay, well, I want to start by uh, saying typically, you know, blonde hair and dark hair attract light in different ways. Dark hair, of course, brings the light in more. So it, um, it really attracts light. So you get more of that sun and that light wherever you are um, coming in. What am I trying to say? It, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I think you were saying it brings it in more. I had I had the words right earlier and now I just, it, my brain's just not functioning. But um, dark hair attracts light, light hair repels it. So um, the darker your hair is, the shinier it's going to look naturally. So, Amen. Um, but here's the problem. As we age, the shine goes out of our hair. Right. Just like the shine goes out of everything. Life sucks it all out of you. Yep. And um, you know what? There's ways to get it back. So we thought we'd come up with um, you know, some of those ways to, to very quickly go through and tell you guys some easy things that you can do at home to bring that shine back. That's right. So the first thing, some people shampoo too much. Over shampooing will dull your hair. It'll Overkill. take... Over poo. <laughs> That's why I love you. All right. <laughs> but um, once it starts to strip your natural oils out, you start to lose some of that luster. So um, always condition after you shampoo. Um, that's that's very important. Uh, when when you when you're done shampooing and you condition, at the very end, give it a blast of cool water. That'll help seal in that conditioner and that shine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, that's one of the things. Secondly, um, when you shampoo, shampoo twice. The first one will remove all that buildup. Okay, you get that buildup off from your previous products that you have in your hair, uh, and then the second shampoo uh, will will usually lather up more and and clean the hair as well. So um, and then of course your conditioning. Um, Wow, I am hearing some small children whining They're in back the background, there. Yeah. which is why we're so exhausted and frazzled because it's just been kids a very long day. are killing us. But um, uh, yeah, so those are two things right there. I have quite a few more. Not, you know, I'm not going to keep you too long. We'll try and get this quick. But uh, the third thing, by for every third shampoo that you do, deep condition. Like, so, by what? What do you mean deep condition? Like, do I leave it on a long time? Yes, do I... I'll explain okay. how. So you, you put the deep conditioner in, usually about once, sometimes twice a week, depending on how dry your hair might feel. What I recommend is when you get into the shower, uh, do your shampooing, your first, your second, and then your deep conditioner at the end. By this time, the, sh the uh, moisture and the heat has built up in your shower, and that helps penetrate mm. that deep conditioner. Uh, leave it in seven to 10 minutes. Um, if you'd like to put a cap over it, that seals the heat in there and helps with uh, the seven deep Seven to 10 minutes, can I just do five if I don't, I mean, that's a lot of time. You can, you just get more out of it, you know, seven to 10 minutes. Um, okay. 
you know, typically do your hair first, put the conditioner in, and then you can shower the rest of your body, shave, whatever other stuff you do in the shower. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, all right. So when your hair is damp, when you get out of the shower, towel dry your hair, not vigorously, just, just blot it, get most of the water out. When you do that, now it's time to put in a good leave-in conditioner, which will also, you know, help prevent and prevent damage from heat when you start to blow dry and things like that. Also, if there's another heat preventative that you may have. Heat protectant, yeah. Those are really important. Very important. Um, whether you're blow drying, whether you're flat ironing or curling iron, the heat protection is important. Yeah, you see that, um, like, when they're doing the, sometimes when you're doing the blow dry, and the steam is just coming out of my hair. I'm like, that just can't be normal. Watching that, that water evaporate, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, I feel like it's like the shine's coming right out of my hair. You need a heat protectant. Right. Um, now, typically straight hair is shiny because straight hair is flat. The cuticle is already flat. So the light can bounce off it. Now, when the cuticle is open, that's usually when you have frizzy hair. And it'll, it'll take in that light. It won't bounce off and won't give you that luster, that shine that you're looking for. Um, so flat irons, blow dryers, uh, curling irons, what they typically do is seal that cuticle. It'll flatten it so that it'll give you that shine. Oh, nice. <clears throat> but there's, the, there's a catch to that because using that too much destroys your hair. It, it does, but you should only use it special occasions once or twice a week at Got most. Um, again, the heat protection from you know I think a heat products protection is a good idea will be great now um, yeah so when you use a curling iron now if you want to prevent frizz the less you brush through the hair the better um, so after you're done blow drying and you put the curling iron in there you get those beautiful curls in there you want to break those curls up do not put a brush on it that'll create more frizz use your fingers to break up those beautiful curls hmm. Your fingers also have natural oils as well. So, um, also, uh, blow drying with a natural boar bristle brush. Say oh, that my, three times. My grandmother told me that all the time. She had this amazing brush that I took from her, and it would give me the softest, silkiest hair. That's right. Um, you know, they may cost a little bit more, but they're so worth it. They'll last you a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... But the boar bristle, uh, it's, it's a natural bristle, so uh, it also helps take the oils from your scalp and distribute it through your hair shaft. That's what she used to tell me. She said it'll pull the oil down. That's right. Um, also, if you like, you can put a little hairspray on the boar bristle brush, and then after you're done blow drying, you can brush through What's your that hair. Do? It'll give it that shine. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit of spray on the brush, and then pull it through your hair. So uh, make sure you have a good that's hairspray. That's a neat, you never told me that trick. Well, make sure you have a good hairspray, nothing that's um, that's a finishing type of spray because that will, you know. Oh, blow. like a, like a hard? Yeah, okay. it'll, it'll be hard to go through the hair. Plus, you'll gunk up your brush that way too. So um, yeah. also, afterwards, you want a nice shine on top of blow drying. You can use a nice oil. Make sure you stay away from harmful silicones. There's a lot of products out there with these harmful silicones in there, and what they do is they coat your hair and they suffocate the cuticle. And once that happens, you create damage. So, um, and, you know, then hair loss. We talked about that one time. About it'll do the same to your the... follicle. It'll clog your follicles and mm. and create uh, you know hair loss. So, um, also Silicone. when you're using, so use it in the boobs, not in the hair. Right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Silicone is back in for breast implants. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, keep it off your hair. Um, <laughs> keep it in the boobs. <laughs> keep it in the boobs. Uh, also, be sparingly with the products. You know, too much product will just make your hair limp and oily, so use very little. Start to trust in the product. Um, so, um, also, vitamins. Oh, last, lastly, yeah, this is the only thing I have to add. Biotin um, adds some strength and uh, shine and elasticity. So biotin, you know, we've talked about this many, many, many times. Using these vitamins will help with hair um, and give you that shine. So just as a recap, because I feel like we were distracted by kids yelling upstairs. Um, 
Well, Mr. one more thing I want to add that, oh. that we didn't write down is we did a whole tutorial on box color and and good salon product color. Oh yeah, you know, color. Yeah. So the box color containing all that ammonia and you know that will make your hair very dry. It, it'll eventually dull it. your hair. That's what I've seen. <laughs> I noticed um, it. Do, you can't get the shine out of out of a box you cannot, color. cannot. But no. professional color has conditioning agents in there, so you're better off. Spending the extra couple bucks, getting it done right, and saving your hair in the long run. The extra conditioners and professional color will also help give you that shine in your hair. So, very mm -hmm. important. Yeah. All right, so let's recap very quickly so that um, we can get out of here, announce our winner, and then I'm going to announce the um, proper contest for next week instead of what you announced. That's your All right, work. so um, shiny hair, start with shampooing twice, okay? Get all the crap out of your hair and um, start with a clean base, okay? Conditioner, you want to do a deep conditioner about once or twice a week, mm -hmm. okay? So a really good one that gets in there and conditions and... Works from the inside out. Yep. Um, and then afterwards, a leave-in conditioner. Even though you may have fine hair, whatever, leave-in conditioner, like one tiny little, you know, squirt of it, rub it together in the hands, smooth it through the hair, you know, from like mid-shift down, work it through. Nope, don't, always don't do start, your hand signals. Always start from your ends and work up. Your ends will be the driest and will need the most moisture and, and repair. So always start at your ends, start at your most damaged area, and okay. then work up. All right, good. So then, um, what else? Flat ironing, curly hair will help, but you need a heat protectant. Please, God, do not start flat ironing your hair and straightening it all the time <laughs> without something that's going to protect that hair, right. okay? Right. Stay away from the silicones. Natural boar's... Boar bristle. Bristle brush <laughs> to help distribute the natural oils. And um, I do love, like, just a drop of rejuvenic oil or something like that. Uh -huh. um, rub it in the hands and then finishing. And it is like nobody's business yeah. shines like a you know bowling ball or a bowling down the bowling alley it's <laughs> awesome um and that's that's all you know and don't forget the the biotin and the vitamins if you have any questions as far as a good product to use that will not destroy your hair or clog up your cuticles and coat your hair or clog up your follicles for that matter get in touch with us message us call us Find us on Facebook, We're comment, happy to answer. and the book will be happy yeah. to direct you the right We can't see the comments right now because we haven't turned. We haven't turned around, so we don't even know who's watching right now. <laughs> but, um, but, all right, so let's get on to the contest winner oh boy, from a good part. Sunday. So, um, from the people who left comments, we put them in a um, fish bowl, <laughs> a bowl, and drew a name, and Jesse... Summer's costly. You are the winner. So Congratulations, Jesse. Get Jessie. in touch with us, and we've got a product for you that we will get out to you. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I can probably get that to you this weekend. Um, all right, so on to the new contest for next week. So starting um, from this Wednesday until next Wednesday, we are going to give away a free product to the person who adds the most people to this group. So, you know, if you... If you know somebody who you think would benefit from learning some hair tips or some, you know, styling tips, something like that, add them to the group after you ask them. And um, whoever adds the most people by next Wednesday, we will announce the winner Wednesday night and we will get you a free product. So... If you like what we're doing, don't hesitate to share our videos also. Get our videos out there, with, you know, to your friends. It may help them as well. Tell your friends. So. All right, guys. So that's it tonight. Um, we will be back on Sunday at 8.30 to talk about something that we will announce later on because we <laughs> haven't gotten that far yet. So hope you guys got value out of this. Let us know if you have questions, and we'll see you Sunday. Thank you for joining us.